Hey y'all, this is TCA Gamer. In this video, we're going to do a PSA return. This one is some of the cooler cards that I've sent in for Cosmic Eclipse. The majority of stuff is still at PSA still. But, we got some more hyper rares and some promos and different things. We're going to start off with this Venusaur and Snivy. Got a 10 on that, immediately going into the background. Then there's another one. Here's the Blastoise and Piplup, I think. This is the one that we did not get a 10 in on that initial return. Here's another one at a 9. Then we have a second 10 right there. And then another 9. Let me put these off back here. There we go. We got a full art, Charizard, and Braxton GX definitely going into the background. And then we also have the Blastoise to match it. Put that one off to the side. Got a second one. And then a third, so we went three for three on the Blastoise and up. Now there is the alternate art, which I do like better, and did pretty good on these two. Got one. Look at that. These were the best of the best that I had. Looks like we went six for six. Gem at ten, gem at ten, gem at ten, gem at ten. And again, another gem at ten. It's pretty cool. Had some regular arts. Pulled a nine. Not what I was going for, especially the ones that aren't full art, but still got a few tens. There's a ten right there. And then another one. So that's at least two tens. Another nine. Ten number three. And then another nine. Ten number four. And then a nine. And then an eight. And, you know, I got to thinking, like, why, why would I have sent in one that would have possibly been an 8? Especially with these, because, I mean, the centering might be off, but it wasn't the centering. And then I looked down here, and if they didn't uh, damage this thing at PSA, you can even see where, like, part of the card is, like, ripped off. But you can see there's two dents. One, two. Maybe even one. No, I think that's the PSA case, but that right there, those are definite dents. And, you know, this is a risk that you're going to take when you send stuff to PSA. They used to take responsibility for the actions when they damage stuff. I mean, this is obviously something that did not come out of the pack. I examined every one of these cards very meticulously before I sent them off. Centering was the only thing that may have been an issue on a few of them. But even then, I only sent in the best, most well-centered ones because I had a lot to choose from. That right there, is no. there's no way I would have missed a piece of a card missing. So that's a risk that you take sometimes when you send stuff to PSA. They may damage it and they may not take responsibility for it either. And then we have another gem at 10 right there. Really, that should, probably should be about a 5 or a 6. They probably gave it an 8 because they knew that they, uh, whoever did it caused that damage. There's a 10 on the Pikachu GX. And I had a couple of these. This is the one from the Special Collection. I had lots and lots of these to choose from. I think I ordered 10, 15 cases, something like that. Did have some 9s, which was a little disappointing. Like I said, I picked out the best ones. I think the centering may have been... I uh, went through these off a little bit, but usually this isn't enough centering to, to keep it from getting a 10. Now, I do remember these were not flawless, like the Cosmic Eclipse cards. <clears throat> like many promos, they're printed a little differently. So let me check. Yeah, I think there's a little white dot up there. You can see a little white dot right there. Which, if they're going from Cosmic Eclipse, really, really good condition cards to these, I can see why they uh, would downgrade some of those to like a 9. And then this one even had an 8. Oh, that's not on the card, that's on the case. You see a few white dots on that one. And then, going back to it, we've got a few other 10s. It's overall, not too bad. And then there's a couple more. We did pretty good on these special collection ones. Ten, and then another nine. Another ten, another nine. It's a Pikachu GX. How could I not send in a lot of these? And I've got plenty left that I can send in, but for now, just see how well these sell. And I was really surprised by these. You know, I had some of these in that previous collection, and they sold fantastic. I think I sold through the four or five that I had at $45 on eBay very quickly. So now I've got some more that I can restock that with. I think people like the fact that it's got ash in there. Or red. If you want to call them red from the game. But overall, these did pretty good. Got several tens. Let's 
see that right there got that hollow <clears throat> and then we finished out pretty weak three nines a bunch of tens in a row then three nines but anyways this is a short PSA return kind of some of the better cards from Cosmic Eclipse but if you want any of these they'll pretty much all be for sale I think I don't believe that I have I believe I have both of those Charizards in my personal collection those would be the only ones that may not uh, be for sale which I have multiple of that one, so it's probably the full art. But I think I have one of those. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enter that PSA sweepstakes where you can possibly win a PSA 10 Lucky Stadium from the original Wizards of the Coast Black uh, Star promo set. Super easy to enter. Go check it out. Thanks.